Welcome to the Walk in Truth Christian Fellowship Church broadcast on the WITRN Network. Come join us as we study the Word of God together. Go get your Bible and let's see what the Holy Spirit is saying to us today. And all of a sudden, a light shines on that man. And when he sees the light, someone cast him a lifeline. And he grabs hold to that lifeline. And he holds on to it for dear life. And I tell you today that that man was me. I wasn't in, I wasn't in an actual ocean. But I was in just as much turmoil and strife and hardship and anger and meanness and madness. I was upset with the whole world. The whole world. And almost everybody in it. The Lord pulled out something this week. And when Pastor was up speaking last week, I listened to him reaching out to souls. I see your faces. And in most cases, I cater to your faces. But when Pastor was speaking last week, all of a sudden it dawned on me that there were people listening that I didn't see. Come on. Come on. And the Lord said, you got to make sure that there's something in your message for them. Amen. 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 And as I was pondering that thought with all the other stuff that's going on around us, the Lord had me pull out something that was spoken a long time ago. But Paul told Timothy, he said, do the work of an evangelist. Amen. See, I understand that work so well because, see, it was an evangelist that won my heart. Now, he didn't know he was an evangelist. He just loved God and he knew I was a mess. That's all. But anyway, turn with me, if you will, to the book of Matthew. And we're going to look at the 15th chapter. I'm going to start right at the 21st verse. Like I said, I ain't got nothing to say to you that you ain't heard before. Or that you ain't read before. Let me put my cheetahs on. I tell this was a long time ago because... My writing is so small. Ain't that way no more. 
But at the 21st verse, it says, Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Mm -hmm. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. You know, saints, we got to be careful that we ain't sending people away. Amen. 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 But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Lord have mercy. Jesus called the woman a dog. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Let me tell you something. Jesus took this opportunity to share something with his disciples. Because he knew what was in their mind. All right? He, he, the dog thing, he, he, he was echoing what they was already thinking. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So don't, don't, let's, don't, get, don't get it twisted. <laughs> Amen. And she said, truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Mm -hmm. then, then Jesus answered and said unto her, Woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Amen? Amen. All right. Now we ain't going to talk about Jesus calling the woman the dog. We ain't going to talk about the devil that got cast out. We're going to talk about the woman. Okay. She was a Syrophoenician woman. And Syrophoenician women, they were Hellenists. So they followed the Greek gods. And one was called Aster. And uh, she was supposed to be the wife of Baal. And Baal was also called Zeus. Amen? Now, uh, Asterisk was a female idol of Philistine, Zidon, and supposed to be the wife of Baal, and the queen of heaven. Baal then called Baal, oh, I can't hardly read, he called Zeus in the Greek. Her priests were eunuchs in women's clothing. <laughs> Ain't nothing new under the sun, y'all. Oh, yes. Women were prostitutes for the for the devotees to this worship, whose lustful orgies formed the main part of worship service, which was carried out in temples, gardens, and high places. All types of immoral acts were done in these in these bands of priests and prophetess and priestesses and their followers. This woman was probably a follower at some time. <coughs> being a Phoenician, being of Phoenician descent, she may have even conceived this child doing one of these worship services. One thing we know is quite evident. She was willing and ready to do anything she could for her child. Amen? Amen. After doing everything else. Now, now I imagine this mother took her daughter to their priest to her church, to her worship service, 
I imagine she did everything she could for her dog. But she didn't get no better. Amen? Amen. And after doing all she could, maybe, it don't say how she heard about Jesus. It don't say how she came to know anything about Jesus. Try not to get too far ahead of myself. Okay. Y'all just cute. Work with me. I'm so glad I never hold that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when Jesus called this woman the dog, many of us would have got upset. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Amen. Yes. Well, let me say, see, 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 when we get upset, that's mostly us. Amen. Amen. On, but when you want something for somebody else, Hallelujah. God was spoke something into my ear that the manifestation of love is never achieved without the sacrifice of self. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. Amen. Amen. And when it comes to faith, God spoke another time and said that a believing heart mm -hmm. produces the faith that motivates God to operate in our behalf. Yes. Yes. Jesus looked at this woman and said, great is thy faith. Yes. She realized that, yeah, I'm a dog, but even the dog get to eat the crumbs that fall. Come on. You know what I'm saying? See, when you want something from God, it doesn't matter what is said. Amen? Amen. You got to be willing to go for it. When I first got saved, I heard all kind of stuff. My hair was too long. Well, you see what happened. <laughs> My hair was too long. My wife don't know it, but there was a time I sat around with pink rollers in my head. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but this woman, after probably doing all she could, went to Jesus. And I say to you, I don't know what God you serving, but if he ain't working, try mine. See how God wasn't working. Daughter wasn't getting delivered. Some of us, it might be men, women, it might be drugs, alcohol, but if your God ain't working, Try man. He's a deliverer. He's a healer. He's a sin forgiver. And I ain't talking about what somebody told me. I've been there. Two men walked up to me in 1977 and said, smile, brother Jesus loves you. And I was thinking, why are they even talking to me? You don't know me. I had just closed up the tavern to go down to Burger King. Used to be there on Newstead and Eastern. Burger Chef. To get me a hamburger. And I'm going to tell you something. Them men stood there and talked to me about Jesus. And that's all I can remember that they say. But they talked to me till my soda turned to water. My hamburger got cold, and something about it made me stand there and listen to him. Right. Yes. Let me tell you something. The gospel message mm -hmm. will get the job done. Yes. All God needs is to willing people to do it. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something. If, you can, if I can get saved, because like I said before, you couldn't have melted me down and poured me inside the church. Mm -hmm. 
I won't use the word, but I had 14 gals in the baboon city. And I was doing good out there. I didn't want for nothing. But let me tell you something. I didn't have no peace. I didn't have no joy. And in most cases, I didn't have no hope. That's right. But if you had a saw me, you'd have thought I was the toast of the town. <laughs> had a good wife, and I come home, and I look at it, and I say, yeah, you trying to trick me too. Ooh. I don't know. What people are strung out on today. We just had a nephew. Somebody gave him something. The next thing you know, he took off all his clothes and took off running. And he got hit by a car. Amen. He's home now. But he was a real estate mogul. And we don't know if he's going to get his mind back. Let me tell you something. God can do anything but fail. You see, and this is what we have to learn to do. I don't care how dark the hour is. I don't care how late it is. God is able. I don't care what you're going through. When them men came up to me, I hadn't been long got out of jail. All right. Thank you, Jesus. And I told my wife then that whatever you do, my youngest son was three months old. And I told her, I said, this is the last time. I don't know what I'm going to do, but this is the last time you'll ever have to bring one of my children to the jailhouse to see me. Amen. That son is 43 years old. 43. <laughs> That's my pride and real, y'all. I'm sorry, Pastor. I meant to give all y'all honor and everything. I'm sorry. But this is on me, bro. But I'm saying to whoever's listening to walk in truth and if your God ain't working, if the drugs ain't working, if the alcohol ain't working, if the women ain't working, if the men ain't working, try mine. Try my God. I'm product of what he can do in your life. People here right now, all of y'all product of what God can do. All of us have had our conversation in the world. And you can't tell me that that old devil don't creep up on you and try to draw you back. Yes, he does. The Bible don't say in vain, when I would do good, evil is always present. You didn't talk to Big Joe. I heard you call it thing, Big Joe. But but you didn't talk to Big Joe any way you wanted to. You didn't come at me any way you wanted to. I was sitting down at the tavern sometime and just picture in my mind who I was going to make an example of that day. You didn't have to pack mud in my face to make the mean man come out. But the Bible said that I'll take away the stony heart that you got and I'll give you a heart of flesh. You see, the Bible ain't a book for me to tell you about Jesus. 
The Bible is a self-help book for me. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Bible is a self-help book that helps me keep my feet and my mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you something. I wouldn't have to take a refresher course to be a fool out here again. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen. 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 Everyone else in there know how to give somebody a good cussing out. Yeah. <laughs> and the only thing that keep us doing is we say. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We get robbed the wrong way every day. But I heard the preacher say it this morning before we left the house. Isaiah 54, 17 says, no weapon, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And later on, if you hold on to this thing, if you keep walking with the Lord, you get to judge all them that said something against you. Amen. 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 We're not talking about men. We're not talking about women. We're talking about a God that can do anything but fail. Amen. Amen. We're talking about a God that stands ready to rescue anybody. And just like I said, Somebody had to walk up to me because I wasn't going. I didn't care for preachers. I didn't care for churches. I had two uncles, and one of them was a preacher. I ain't seen him live a nickel worth of dog meat. And he had the robes and the three-pointed hat. I ain't never heard one word from him. The only thing he ever told me was that Jesus was actually born on January 24th. <laughs> 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 so much for that. <laughs> I don't know when he was born. It's a whole lot of controversy about all of that. Who cares? Right. Right. Here's what I do know. Amen. Just like the blind man that was born blind from his birth. Hallelujah. Where I was blind, now I see. Amen. Where I was lame in my spirit, now I've been quickened. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I got the witness in me every day. Amen. The witness is in me. Isaiah says, Thou shalt hear a voice behind you say, Turn you to the left or turn you to the right. Oh God, how I needed somebody to got Because I was doing it best I could. And like I say, I wasn't hungry. I wasn't destitute. I wasn't strung out on no drugs. I was just strung out on me. And anything I thought I wanted to do, I did. But just think, smile. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. Yes, Let me does. say this here. Yes, he does. It is impossible mm -hmm. to be in the presence of God mm -hmm. and stay the same. Hallelujah. It's impossible. I'm not saying that you'll get saved, but you won't be the same. That happened in 1977. I got saved in 1981. But I was never the same that day. From that day on. Used to cuss like a sailor. Any word, I, I made up words. <laughs> But one word yes. 
started to stick in my head. And I could not say it. And when I hear people use it today, my wife will tell you. When I hear somebody say, GD, I can't stand it. You can use all the other curse words you want to. Well, why must God damn it? Amen. 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 Saying, church, saying to the world out there that's listening, if your God ain't working, won't you try Jesus? Amen. Won't you give Jesus a try? Amen. 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 I done had the acid, the weed. The, I'm not that stuff they got now. Amen. No, no, no. I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. No, not at all. You I actually stopped at Angel Dust. Ooh. Oh. I don't smoke more dope than some of y'all way. Thank you, Lord. You can't tell me what kind of cake. Yes, Amen. Amen. And my mind ain't damaged either. I'm just as sharp as I ever was, Jesus. Pastor. Jesus. Only thing is, I'm on lookout for Christ now. Amen. I'm on lookout for somebody that's just like I was. Somebody that's out there on that ocean. Yes, yes, yes. Walking true, mm -hmm. you are light. In a dark world. But you know that. Let your light shine. Let your light shine. That men. Evil men. Evil men. The power of God in you. Is able to turn around the lives of many. Just let your light shine. God bless you. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap for you. Amen. Amen. One more hand clap of praise for that word. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word that was given today, Lord. Let us take heed to what the Spirit of the Lord is trying to tell us. Lord, let us remember save each and every one of us, anyone out there, you can also save your wayward children. Pray for them. Pray for them. That's all they need. They need a righteous saint to pray for them. So Lord, we want to give them hope. Because hope don't focus on the circumstance. Hope focus on the deliverer. And we know God is a deliverer like Pastor said. So Lord, bless that word as it go out to the whole world. Thank you for tuning in to Walk Truth Radio Network broadcast, Walk Truth Christian Fellowship Church. We always want you to be encouraged by the word, blessed by Jesus, and find the peace of the Lord in your heart. And always do what? Walk, Walk in truth. Amen. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to the Walk in Truth Christian Fellowship Church broadcast on the WITRN network. Come join us every Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for Sunday worship. Bible study is held on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are located at 3006 North Lindbergh Boulevard Suite 711, St. Louis, Missouri, 63074. All are welcome and we look forward to seeing you soon.